Okay, mm -hmm. I guess you guys are quite familiar with this already, right? Okay. <coughs> Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Like, um, a month ago, I went back traveling to Korea with my friends during winter break. And, you know, instead of saying backpack traveling, I, I, can, I, can, I think I can say that we went there for shopping. Yeah. But that's not the point. The point is that none of us speaks Korean. So, the people we met all can understand what we're talking about. And neither can we. We cannot understand what they're talking about. So we started using our bodies to speak, like, you know, um, your body speaks, like pointing, waving, imitating, like this. But you know what? There's another part that speaks also as loud as your body movements. What part it is? Face. Exactly, it's our face. Okay. You know, the importance of facial expression, it can be so useful in any kind of situation. Even on internet, I cannot see you, you cannot see my face, but I can still use emotion icons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, emotions are so important. You know, in emotions, nothing is more important than emotions, that the fixing of emotions in our mental life, that's what I believe. Because, you know, emotions such as sadness, nervousness, Happiness! Wow. Excitement! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, I'm so excited! Wow. And, you know, <laughs> I'm so bored. Content. And confident. Like I am. <laughs> you know, the emotions that are written on our faces are called facial expressions. Okay, and today, I'm going to let you guys know some of the most common facial expressions and emotions that we see in our daily life. Every day we see faces. We see beautiful faces. We see handsome faces. We see old, oh no. We see all kinds of different faces. <laughs> Sorry. But, what do these faces tell us? You know, according to behavioral psychologists, they say that Above 99% of the emotions expressed on our face is coherent with what we're feeling inside. That's a very important clue for us to, to do during communication. And these expressions also reveal what we're thinking inside. Expressions such as excitement, the dilation of the pupil, and sadness. Your eyebrows pointing down, feeling very sad. And even the uplift of your lips, showing content. Believe me, all these small details over your face, all those little movements of your body, all tell the truth. <laughs> and this is what scientists say, words lie, but your face doesn't. Okay, moving on to more common expressions that we need in our daily life. Can somebody give me a um, expression of cheerfulness, happiness? Come on, group number one. You just want to give, right? Give me a cheerful face. Yeah, it's just like that. A cheerful face, wearing a big smile on on her face. Yes. A big smile like this, with your end of the lips pointing up, and sometimes your eyes. Hmm. <laughs> and cheerful as well, and very, very cheerful. <laughs> And quite the opposite, sadness with your eyebrows pointing down. <laughs> sadness again. And absolute sadness. <laughs> and something like anger. Very, very angry. Completely angry. <laughs> okay, these expressions. Um, how about surprise? Um, Amy, can you give me a demonstration of a surprise emotion? Wow. He said, wow, like this. <laughs> the eyes being big, and a big mouth, and a little, you know, big wow. nostrils, like, wow. But I think they got even more surprised. Amy, chocolate for you. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Emotions 
are universal. All kinds of emotions are all the same, no matter you are an ordinary man like him, or like me, or even like George Bush. You know, there's six and a half billion people around the earth, but we all share the same expression. Believe me, action really speaks louder than words. So next time, when you travel in a foreign country, and you find that words is hard to convey your ideas, you can either use body languages, or you can detect the subtle changes of the faces. Then, you will be able to communicate speechlessly without being speechless. Back to Tihani.